to another episode of the Generation Z series, Zoomers Explained. Last time, we gave you a little insight about us and I hope it helped you get to know us better. In this episode, we are going to be talking about how our generation handles remote working. Firstly, our generation is extremely tech savvy and almost all of us have the right hand at doing online work. Working remotely gives more freedom to employees in terms of timing as they are extremely flexible. It also reduces the stress of commuting as you don't have to travel anywhere else. That's absolutely right. I don't have to wake up early and I still can be ready for work on time. Remote work enables companies to embrace diversity and inclusion by hiring people from different socio-economic, geographic and cultural backgrounds and with different perspectives which can be challenging to accomplish when recruiting is restricted to a specific location that is not what everyone wants or can afford to live near. Don't you think the advantages of remote working just keep adding up? We are provided with a broader range of job opportunities as we are not confined to a single geographic location. That's enough about the advantages. Let me take you into a different drive and tell you how workplaces can accommodate remote work better for Zoomers. Firstly, employers should focus on their younger employees as they make up a huge part of the company. They should make sure younger employees have what they need to function from home guide them in structuring their days to be productive and increase check-in frequency. Secondly, they could create create opportunities for social engagement among co-workers, continue job training and help younger workers see their role is accomplished in the company's purpose. They could also offer other incentives such as providing well-being and mental health resources to their employees with a focus on removing the stigma around this widespread issue. And because our generation is more about workplace benefits, this will be a perfect step towards increasing our efficiency. Other things can include flexible skill development, options that make sense for the organization and give employees as much autonomy as possible to pursue their own growth. And offering a few free snacks and meals along the day won't hurt either. I also think remote working condition gives us a great opportunity to work and travel at the same time. We are more flexible to the working conditions and more comfortable as we have our own workplace to deal with. I so need a vacation at the moment. Oh my gosh, me too. I want to come. Let's plan one soon. (laughs) Wow. And I will be able to finish my internship task while sitting at a beach. Despite all the advantages, uh, remote working conditions also have certain disadvantages. Employees are not able to build relationship connection with the other employees and the levels of isolation are at a rise. I also think working remotely comes with increased distractions as we all mostly live with families moving around all day and the network connection sometimes is a headache. Oh my god, I can't even tell you about it. That's very true. But I also think the advantages take over the disadvantages. That is why let's look at four ways we can combat these downsides. Check in on your employees frequently and also create opportunities for them to have social engagements while doing on-the-job training. Offer them courses as well as sessions, counseling sessions to address their mental health as well as their workplace efficiency and provide a scheduled working condition to allow them to be totally autonomy over their productivity. And because this year has been a tornado in itself, every individual is starting to adapt to work remotely without creating a fuss about it. We hope you also enjoyed this episode with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also comment for more exciting bits from us. And remember, the more you seek, the more you learn. Learn with Bessers! Bye!